when you're on drug court, you have to go to, to court. So when I went to drug court, the judge was like, oh, you do not get to make decisions, you know, on, on your whereabouts. Like, you don't get to just leave one program and go to another. That's not how this works. So I'm going to put you in jail until you have your baby, which was miserable. <laughs> so uh. my last few months of being pregnant, um, I which I believe was God really just rescuing me just from the chaoticness, you know, um, who knows where I would be now if I would have remained out. So I'm grateful for it now. I wasn't then, but I am now. It took me a while to get there. Um, so I spent my last like two and a half months um, of being pregnant in jail. And then I gave birth to Jacob um, in the county hospital with my ankle cuffed to the bed, you know. <laughs> I, they uncuffed it so I could push, but anyway, so um, I gave birth to Jacob um, October 11th, 2012, um, 9 pounds, 12 ounces, very healthy. Um, he was 10 days late. Um, <laughs> he was comfortable. Yeah. Nine, nine pounds? Nine pounds, 12 ounces. Goodness. Yeah. How old? Wait, really quick. I was 35 when I had But him. how, how um, big was your uh, sister? She was nine pounds. Yeah. She was wow. Nine, yeah. Kind of so, interesting. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> so when I, so, sorry, this. so I, so after I had him, the judge did tell me though, um, like once I gave birth that she would let me go to a residential program, back to WRA, because I really wanted to go there. So when, after I had him, um, I was in the hospital for a couple days with him, and then he went home with my mom, and I went back to jail, and then <clears throat> about... I think two or three days later, the judge brought, she heard that I was back, you know, from having my baby and she brought me into her court, um, which was like, she was like at a different courthouse, but she kept her word, you know? So she brought me in to, um, the court that she was in and she said, um, I'm going to release you to your mom. And you know, you have, I don't remember, I think maybe like 30 days to get into residential, which I think it took me, I don't know, less than a week to get back into WRA. So <clears throat> I went into WRA and I spent my first, Jacob's first year of life in WRA. Um, and it was amazing, you know. Um, I learned how to function everyday life, you know, without the use of drugs. Something that, I mean, I spent 20 years, you know, like on and off of drugs. And it's really, I think you just, you don't even know how to, you get so comfortable being uncomfortable you really don't even know how to live it's like it's pretty I know it sounds bizarre and crazy but you just don't and it's so living um a WRA gave me like kind of like the tools you know like we took the bus to you know to the um to our program and we went grocery shopping like just normal things that normal people do every day that um I think you just don't really realize you don't know how to do without the use of drugs when you've done them for so many years um 